Hi Dave here and in this video I want to show you how you can live stream your DJ sets to multiple sites really simply. Just before we delve into the software, we're all in a situation at the moment where we can't go out and say DJ or perform or do anything where we're in front of multiple people. So therefore we're all getting really into the live streaming and one thing that we want to do is reach as many people as possible. Now with simulcasting it means we can now multicast to lots of different places, we can go to loads of different platforms but we don't have to change our own setup, we just have to push it to one place which they will then spread it out for us which is really cool. Now there are different places to do this but in this video I'm going to be looking at Caster. So let's check out the website and we've got caster.io. Now before we go into logging in stuff, we do have the pricings. So down here, we've got $9.99 a month for one encoder, no caster branding, and one Facebook page group and 24 seven support. And it goes on to the most popular ones. And if we do it yearly, you pay yearly, but it works out cheaper a month. It says it saves 20%. And the most popular one at $14.99 is two encoder inputs, no caster branding, two Facebook page groups, same as the uh, broadcast package, but you've got a pre-record live and an unlimited cloud recording, which is really useful. Then you have other options as well. Uh, we're looking at multi-stream today, but we've got live streaming, video hosting and IP cameras as well. But this is the one we're concentrating on. So then if you set up an account and then you can log in and we've got our dashboard account and billing, etc., there. And this is the main thing now. So we just add a stream. And again, we've got some options here, but we're going to concentrate on new simulcast. And let's call it um, my stuff. And I'm going to be hosting in, well, near London and click save. And this is where we add published platform. So we can add any of these. And I'm going to add, I'm not going to include Facebook Live anymore because things have come out where we can't really DJ live on there anymore. So let's go to the good old YouTube. And you can do it two ways. You can use the uh, setup server key or you can connect to YouTube events. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to connect to YouTube events. It's going to ask me to log on to my YouTube. And then we're going to allow Caster to be able to do this. And that's it. Successfully completed. So now if we go to select event, we can create a new one or we can just do a live stream. So if I create a new one, I'm going to call it DMB Madness because I'm that zany. We can add a description as well. And there we have it. It's already there. We can add another platform. So let's add Twitch. Same deal. Just log on with Twitch. I've got to add in a token as well. Hit submit. And again, we've successfully connected. With Twitch, we need to select the server. So again, I'm going to do London and hit save. So we can just keep adding these platforms. And this is the dashboard. We've got the enable cloud recording, depending on your uh, tariff. And you've got a chat overlay as well, which we can talk about in a minute. So on there, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to OBS. I'm going to add my capture. And I'm just going to do FaceTime just so you can see. And we're going to do um, a loopback. So if I add my loopback, I love this thing. If you want to see a video on loopback, then please do let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to make sure that this is turned on and my Soundflower 2 is turned on. And then I'm going to turn this bad boy on as well. So then if you see, you can see I've got a feed out there. Then we're going to go to settings and stream. And then you can see we've got all these, but we actually are going to go to custom. And the server is that. If you're never sure what the server is, is at the RTMP. So you have to click show and then highlight and copy that and add the stream key there. And then if I click start streaming, as you can see down here, it's already going in. And then it's here. What's nice is you can hold it here for however long you want and just double check to make sure things are working. And then you can just click that and it's connecting and I now should be live on YouTube so anyone who's just joined in this is just a test because I'm doing a video for caster and then I'm going to click off again now also if you want to add your chat overlay we can generate chat URL open chat app so I've opened up mine in another window and that means you can change the uh, size of it as well which is really useful for when you're using it next to OBS um, my test there some people logged on thank you very much you can also go straight to webcam and stream here. 
which is really useful. You don't have to go through OBS if you don't want to. I always do personally. And then I've got my recordings here. Again, I didn't enable cloud recording, um, but you can do if you want to. And you can also delete your stuff as well. And then you can start all over again if you want to. One thing to note that Caster has just added, which is really good for us DJs especially, is Mixcloud, which is really useful. For those of you who don't know about Mixcloud, it's the fact that now our sessions will not get pulled down um, because of copyright like Facebook, because Mixcloud pay their artists and for the music via the adverts and the, the streaming um, costs and stuff. So thank you Mixcloud for that and well done Caster for putting that on. So for me, I would be doing um, well, I used to be doing Facebook Live, but I'm not so bothered. YouTube and Twitch and Mixcloud for me is where it's at, but you've got loads of other stuff for loads of other streaming types. And one thing to note is if you do have loads and loads, you can just toggle all on at the same time. You can see the RTMP there. And there we have it. It's quite simple, really. Uh, it does everything for you that's really nice and easy. Yeah, and if you just use Simulcast, you can see everything that's going on. You can stream whenever you want and it's really useful. Obviously, if you don't have options to record in the cloud, you can go to OBS and hit record on there as well, which I would always recommend just in case. And obviously, if you are going to be streaming to YouTube, then again, you're gonna have that recording that you can download whenever you want as well. So there we have caster.io, really simple, really useful, and it works really well. Yes, you have to pay for it, but most of these places do as well. But as long as you live stream often, then I think it will be worth the money, especially for the reach you can get for the simplicity of clicking a button. Hope you found that useful. Like, subscribe, comment below. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.